Simon, similar to uh, technical issues, it has been quite chaotic, uh, especially on and off the field there uh, for the Comores going into the match. Um, and uh, for Cameroon, well, they did manage to get the result. Tell us how it unfolded. Cameroon get the results as expected. The Comoros side decimated by COVID-19. Things were made even worse for them when they had a man sent off inside 10 minutes. Abdu uh, getting his marching orders for a pretty horrific uh, challenge with studs up on uh, the heel of one of the Cameroonian uh, players. Uh, down a man, uh, Comoros actually played the better football, uh, we can say, in the first half as Cameroon uh, seemed already to have their heads in the quarterfinals uh, in that tie against the Gambia, as you mentioned. Uh, Carl Toko Ikambi scored the opener after some brilliant service uh, from uh, captain Vincent Abubakar, who then added the indomitable Lions second after the interval. Uh, the Comoros Islands did pull one back through a magnificent free kick, which uh, beat Onana in goal for uh, Cameroon to make it 2-1. Uh, a little too late, unfortunately, as the Comoros Islands were unable uh, to get that equalising uh, goal, which their performance uh, deserved. Some absolutely uh, fantastic uh, performance individually uh, for the uh, Comoros Islands, uh, but their uh, journey, their first journey in the Africa Cup of Nations uh, comes uh, to an end. A difficult uh, one to swallow after not being able uh, to field uh, a professional goalkeeper, a defender had to go in goal, so a complicated one uh, for the Comoros Islands to swallow, but they'll certainly come away from this tournament with plenty of pride. Simon, um, we, you mentioned Comoros, like they, they played such technically good football um, and uh, they scored a brilliant uh, uh, goal to pull it back uh, right at the death through the, uh, that beautiful free kick. Um, but did the red card change the match? Uh, was it merited? The, re the referee is there to do a job, and the referee, I have to say, got it right. The challenge did look bad. Uh, in real time, he didn't catch. He was given uh, the, the order to go check the monitor for VAR, and once you look at the replays of the challenge, then unfortunately, there's only a one decision. So the, the decision was a correct one. I think from the Comoros Islands' perspective, they'll have feel, felt really hard done by, and the immediate reaction after the red card was given after just seven minutes was to stop the game. Staff uh, of the Comoros Islands actually actually called to the players to stop playing, to come back into the changing rooms uh, before a, a brief huddle. And after the huddle, it was decided that they uh, would continue. Of course, uh, decimated by COVID, the inability to have a fit goalkeeper in goal already meant that they were starting the game uh, uh, as massive underdogs. They were underdogs to start with, but without a goalkeeper, it was almost going to be mission impossible. And for Cameroon, it was just about getting the job done. They did the bare minimum. Uh, they're into uh, the quarterfinal but certainly from the Indomitable Lions perspective we expect much much better because if they put a performance like that against the Gambia or against some of the other bigger teams then they might be very much heading out of the competition. That's uh, Simon Harding there from Yaoundé.